Mahalo, everybody. Mahalo, Nui. Thank you very much, everybody here. Aloha. Aloha, Kako. E komomai to Washington Place. Uh, for those uh, uh, who are here in Hawaii, of course, uh, Washington Place is the is the uh, the historic legacy of our kingdom. Our last queen, Lilia Okalani, lived here in this home and dedicated, subsequent to her passing, this home uh, to preserve Hawaiian culture, music, and language. It was uh, 163 years ago yesterday uh, that this historic mansion was named Washington Place by King Kamehameha III in honor of the founder of the United States of America, the revolutionary country at that time of the United States. As the 50th state, the last state to enter the Union, I think it's particularly appropriate that the queen who stood for justice and the first president of the United States who stood for freedom and democracy for all, for justice and opportunity for all, could not, could not be more appropriate than that we meet here today. I said the words, Ekomomai, it means a great deal to us, to those of us who live in paradise, because it means all are welcome. And this signing today of this measure says to all the world that they are welcome, that everyone is a brother and a sister here in paradise. The legalization of the legalization, the legalization of civic unions uh, in Hawaii represents, uh, in my mind, uh, equal rights for all people, all people here, all who visit us. Uh, they protect our diversity. They protect our civil rights. They protect who we are as a people here in Hawaii. If there is anything that the word aloha means, it's that our diversity defines us rather than divides us. It's no secret that there has been controversy. It's no secret that there has been opposition. It's no secret that there are deeply held beliefs uh, regarding this legislation uh, that do not comport with the signing that is about to take place. But here in Hawaii, we have a process for dealing with that. The Hawaiians call it ho'oponopono. It is a coming together uh, in a manner that is respectful of all. It is a coming together with the idea that we will have a resolution of the issues, not necessarily a solution. That's an ongoing process. We're human beings. We have our faults. We have our, our divisions. But here in Hawaii, we do not let our diversity divide us. It indeed defines us, and this bill defines us. I want to uh, indicate that I think that this is a perfect example of what has been called by Dietrich Bonhoeffer, the, the martyr of World War II, uh, to justice and opportunity for all, uh, when he talked about the necessity of having civil courage, civic courage. This is what this is about today. And what is called for as well as a public conscience. This is an expression uh, made manifest in this bill by the legislative action. There are legislators here today, and I want to pay tribute to the Hawaii State Legislature, to its leadership, to its members, and particularly to the heads of the Judiciary Committees that saw this through in a manner that I think does credit to every uh, d uh, democracy in every state of the union. If we could I appreciate all the time, all the effort that's been made by those who shared their thoughts and their concerns uh, with the legislature and with each other regarding civil unions. This has been an emotional process, but everyone has been involved. This process is now ended. Everyone has been heard. All points of view have been respected. 
For me, this bill represents equal rights for everyone in Hawaii, everyone who comes here. This is, to me, the essence of the Aloha spirit. And with that in mind, I would like to invite Lieutenant Governor Schatz, Speaker Calvin Say, a Senate Majority Leader Brickwood Galateria, House Majority Leader Blake, Blake Oshiro, and Senate Judiciary Chairman Clayton He to join me here at the desk. I have three pens, ordinary pens, <laughs> Common garden variety pens. As you know, we're practicing fiscal austerity here in the state of Hawaii, so we have not yet stamped them uh, with the uh, motto or, or, or uh, the, uh, the uh, symbol of the state of Hawaii. But perhaps it's even more appropriate uh, because this represents a triumph for everyone. We are not singling out an elite. We are not going after a special interest. This is, in fact, an interest which is a, something that provides for everyone. So I'm going to take these three pens and I'm going to sign my name in sections and my intention after this in recognition of the service that they have performed is to give one of the pens to Representative Blake Oshiro as the, as the principal author of the bill that's before us and to Chairman Gil Agaran of the Judiciary Committee in the House of Representatives and to my dear friend uh, and colleague uh, and sp special friend, uh, Clayton He. Uh, as you can... As, uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. Hawaii is still a big village. <laughs> And uh, so after all these years, after all these years to have the opportunity at, at this uh, stage uh, of my public career to be able to advance to me the essence of Aloha is something that I truly treasure and honor with my signature. Ladies and gentlemen, Senate Bill number 232, Senate Draft 1, House Draft number 1 is now law. 